quickly two people walk past me and jump in the water and they're cold but it does not stop anybody from swimming. Some of the clearest water that I've ever seen. Hi friends, this is Brigitte with What Tomorrow Brings and today we are in the wonderful Basque country in northern Spain in the city of San Sebastián. And this city is known for its incredible, incredible culinary gastronomic scene. It has more Michelin star restaurants than any other place in the world. And when you get here, you can clearly see that we are on the coast, right on the water. You can see the lush greenery where so much foraging and so much production of the food happens. So it's just like a perfect little spot in the world where food happens and you have pinchos and you have contemporary restaurants and you have traditional tavernas you have a little bit of everything here and it just attracts millions of people every year to come visit and experience the food of San Sebastián so we want to take you around to try a little bit of food with us here today and see what's going on and just really get to experience the beauty of San Sebastián We are at La Taona and this is a beautiful bakery in San Sebastián where you have all these beautiful traditional breads and pastries, many of them that we've never seen before. But it was just so beautiful from the street we had to stop in. So what I'm having is a panchineta. And this is a little version and it's called mini panchineta, but it is a flaky crust with custard and almonds on top. And they also warm it for you when you ask for it. So you get a nice warm pastry. Mm. Mm. Delicious, not too sweet, very crunchy. Mm. I really like that. It's nice and warm. They put it in the panini press and just toast it for you, but you have so much caramelization, it like gets stuck in your teeth. That's a perfect little pastry to have with your coffee. You can see this beautiful, these almonds caramelized on the side. It's just such a fun dessert to have. This is great. All right, next stop, we're at a pincho bar. And we got the octopus pincho. It's a small taba, and it's marinated octopus. And it's got these beautiful little chopped peppers, uh, bell peppers and onion, rolling in olive oil. Uh, beautiful food boy. I can't wait to try it. Mm. So light and crisp. Not chewy, the octopus just breaks apart. Perfect starter to the day. Mm. Look at this fresh octopus, these beautiful peppers, onions. Mm. I love this little plate they give it to you in. You can just stand at the bar, enjoy it. This is wonderful. Mm. So good. Just a little bit of vinegar in there, just a tiny, tiny bit. Mm. The olive oil is a fruity, it's not a very bitter or pungent olive oil. Very, very light on the palate. Just complements the food so well. With all the pinchos and bar hopping that you can do in San Sebastián, you can get pretty full pretty quickly before you know it. But one thing you can always do is just come to the shore. You can walk along this gorgeous stretch of boardwalk and you can people watch, you can dog watch, you can even come out down to the sand and walk along the water. It's just a perfect pastime to kind of get yourself ready to eat a little bit more on the second half of the day. We've just taken the funicular of Monte Igueldo and we've just gotten to the top. This is the best way you can see a bird's eye view of the entire coast of San Sebastián. What a breathtaking view it is. You can see the entire Bay of Biscayne. You can see where we walked on the boardwalk all the way around the bay. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is worth the time if you have a moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Que coisa mais linda, mais cheia de graça E a menina que vê que passa no doce balazo we just got back from walking all along the boardwalk and we we're definitely working up a hunger so we stopped at this gorgeous bakery it's called Gal Paroso and we got ourselves a croissant these are some of the most beautiful croissants I have ever seen look at this that is incredible they don't use anything artificial all of their flowers are organic and this is just, I mean, it's a dream of a pastry. Let's try it. Mm. Wow. Before I could finish sinking my teeth into it, I could taste the chocolate. Oh my goodness. The bread is so crispy, airy. Look at the inside of that. It's absolutely incredible. This is out of this world. Look at that, how crispy, flaky, all the layers. Mm. There's no residue or film in your mouth. You know it's real butter. Oh, wow. We're at Casa Vergara, another pincho bar. We just come right up to the counter and you order your pinchos and then you go to your table and they bring them to you. First one we got is the pincho Hilda. This is the quintessential pincho of San Sebastián. We've already had this before in our Madrid videos as you've probably already seen. Uh, and then so we got another one here, but this one's got a lot of anchovy on it. That's like at least two anchovies per round with the guindilla peppers and a big queen olive on top. You're supposed to eat this all in one bite. Not gonna do it today. I'm just gonna take my time. <laughs> mm. So good. Wow. So salty and full of flavor. There's like still more flavor in there. It's not just salty fish. The anchovy is still juicy. It's like you're eating a fresh fillet. It's not very dry like a jerky. That's excellent. So good. And the guindilla, just a little bit of spice to add to it. All right, our oysters and our prawns are here and they look absolutely incredible. Let's get some of this oyster first. Look at this gorgeous mollusk. So fresh, probably caught today. Look at that, incredible, I can't wait to try this. A little bit of lemon on there. Oh, ready, here we go. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that, that is, I love how they don't give you any cocktail sauce or, or horseradish, even though I do love those things on oysters. These oysters do not need it. That is so juicy and full of flavors of the ocean. I mean, from staring at the water today when we were walking across the boardwalk, I just like am reliving that all over again. That is incredible, incredible. And here we have our prawns. These are grilled prawns. Look at the size of that rock salt that they season them with. Ugh, I love that. Let's go ahead and peel this. Oh wow. Look at that. Wow, oh my god, it smells so good. The skin's not that hard, oh my god. The flesh is so flaky. Oh, that's just beautiful. Look at that. Oh. And they're cooked just till done, not a second longer. Wow. Oh. Let's eat that. Mm. Mm. Delicious.
delicious. Creamy, juicy, buttery. And there are none of those things there. It's just the prawn and salt. A gift from the ocean. We just got to Gandarias and here we are having another pincho. I'm switching it up from seafood. I want to do some nice broiled cheese with sun-dried tomato and pistachio. Take a look at this pincho. Look at this gorgeous, these little pieces of art. Take a look at that. And it looks like it has like a balsamic glaze reduction on top. So you have your sun-dried tomato, a wheel of uh, goat cheese, boiled crispy, and then uh, balsamic glaze is what it looks like on top, and pistachios and walnuts. Mm. 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 It's like we have a crab salad with smoked salmon, a little bit of alioli, and um, fish roe on top. Mm. Mm. Tastes like a sushi roll. Mm. They love alioli here, and they use it in every opportunity they get but they use it so well. Beautifully mixed in with the crab salad. And it's flaked, so it's not chunks of, of uh, the crab. It's just very thin, feathery. And then the salmon and the roe on top is great. So we walk into this restaurant, kind of a little bit not sure because I saw a big book of reservations and I was like, oh crap, we don't have a reservation. I hope they have space for us. One, I say, hey, we don't have a reservation, but you maybe have, he immediately interrupts me and says, do you have an appetite? And I said, yes. And he said, well, then I have a table for you. We sit down, a few minutes pass by, still haven't seen a menu. The owner walks over with two giant steaks and says, which one do you want? And then we finally chose one. Look at this gorgeous hunk of meat. This is going to be cooked for us. He brought us the fresh T-bone steak. This is a chuleta. And this is what we're going to have for dinner. With all this cold and hot weather on and off, I've really been craving a soup. And as soon as I walked in, I saw on the menu they had un caldo, and that is just a broth soup. And that's what I asked for. This looks incredible. It is just a beautiful golden brown broth with just no fat. It just looks like it's gonna warm my soul. It's really hot. <laughs> Oh, it's delicious. Oh. It's nourishment. Nourishment in a bowl. Oh. It's excellent. <laughs> So it comes on a hot plate and you can let it cook a little longer or you can pull it off to the side so that it stays rare. Hey, muchas gracias. So our chuleta is ready. That took about maybe 10 minutes and it comes on this gorgeous hot plate sizzling and they pull it off to the side so it doesn't keep cooking if you want it less done. We normally like ours medium rare to rare. So we've got this like mountain of beautiful meat that we're just gonna Very dump in right <laughs> The best meat in town. Ben, he's got the best meat in town. <laughs> First bite. <laughs> I burned myself, I don't even care. Oh my god. 
it's so juicy, buttery. This is vaca vieja. So this is a cow that is at least six years old. And it's the most tender piece of meat you'll ever eat. These cows are so well taken care of. They don't, the meat doesn't get tough. And, and they're proud of that. They're proud. They call it chuletón de vaca vieja. That means T-bone steak of old cow. And, and that gives the cow a longer lifespan, more time to live and enjoy and, and respect the animal before it's served to you. This is incredible. We've really done work on this steak. Before we know, we're almost done with it. But look at this juicy sauce you gotta get in here. Oh, salty, juicy sauce. The jus. Crunchiness from the salt. Mm. When your steak hits the table, there's no sauce, there's no pepper, there's no extra salt that you can put on it. The steak is meant to be eaten in a certain way, and that is how they serve it to you. And that's how you will eat it. And that's exactly the way you want to. Trust me, you don't want to add anything to this. This is great, just salt and steak. That's all you need. If you want to come into a restaurant that wholeheartedly stands behind what they make so much so that it is the only thing on their menu and all they offer is sides, this is the one. Like a basque. Like a basque. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's I how say, you do it. take your, the bone with your hands like harmonic <laughs> and make one blues. Yeah. <laughs> like harmonic, yeah. We've got rock music playing. I mean, these guys are getting it. Benny's the man. For dessert, we have the famous burnt Basque cheesecake. This is a cheesecake that is made so authentically. It has no crust. It is just the cheesecake by itself. And it's cooked till the top is kind of so-called burnt, but it's really just caramelized a little darker. A traditional American cheesecake would just be white on the top, but this, they let it cook a little bit longer, let it caramelize and gain more flavor. So that's what we have here, and it's absolutely delicious. Look at that, how it just cuts right through. That is, oh. Gosh, I have a confession to make. I didn't want dessert today. And Andres went ahead and ordered it for himself. Muchas gracias. And of course, I'm taking the first bite because as soon as it hit the table, it looks so good that now I'm, I have to confess that I, I wasn't even gonna get a dessert, but here we are and it's amazing. I regret not asking for it, but I'm so thankful that Andres did. This is so creamy, silky. The cream cheese is just, oh my gosh. It is one of the, if you like cheesecakes, it'll be the best cheesecake you ever have. So we have just finished up at La Chuleteria. What an experience to end our night. This is one of the best dinners we've had in all of Europe since we arrived back in January. Benny and his team are so great. They're so hospitable and the food is incredible. I've never been anywhere where they just bring a raw steak out to you, show it to you and say, this is what you're gonna eat. And they were like, yes, okay. Cause they know what's good for you. They know what you need. So this was an incredible experience and you have to come out to La Chuleteria and have the cheesecake too. Don't almost make a mistake like I did. So we're gonna head back to the uh, hotel now and get some rest because tomorrow we've got a few places that we wanna show you before we head back to Madrid. Good morning friends, we're back here in the old town at La Verna Coriti and we've got a couple pinchos that we want to start our morning off with and a awesome chocolate wine. Buñuelo of uh, carne and this is a beef fritter in like a light and airy um, uh, batter, almost kind of like a beer batter. But that they cooked this just to order so we waited a few minutes for that and it's piping hot. But look at that beef, it looks so tender and soft. Oh, that looks great. Let's try this. Mm. 
Wow. It's got cheese, but it's melted and so blended in with the beef, you can't tell the difference. You can only taste it. Mmm. And it's not like a croquette. It's its own thing. This is really good. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. A little kick. Mm. Wow. You have the crunchy outside. It's nice and warm. Just made, just fried. Mm. Some chocolate. To cut the fat, wash it down. Mm. Mm. Oh. The way that the bartender was pouring this chocolate was incredible. The technique is be sure you're pouring it up from high, but you also have to look up at the bottle. So part of the skill is being able to pour and hit the glass without looking down at the cup. So it's a it's a whole thing and it's truly a skill. It looked like he was holding it up almost seven feet in the air. He's a very tall man. So that was quite impressive. Now look at this pincho. This is a a beautiful crusty baguette with jamon and roquefort cheese. <laughs> this is just like the best combo of a sandwich you can ask for. And it's just in a small pincho bite just like this. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. The saltiness. Everything is just salty. It's so good. The cheese is so fresh. Everything just sits out on a counter, unrefrigerated, so the flavors can really meld together, and and the aromas can can open up in the ham, in the roquefort, and the the, the bread stays crusty on the outside, so it protects everything inside. Mm. It's fabulous. So good. So fresh. It's a perfect start to the day. This is so good. Oh, yeah. So, where we came to for lunch today is this very special place. It's named Bar Nestor. And it is famous not only for its chuletas, but also for its tortillas. Now, the way this works is you have to show up at starting an hour before they open to put your name down for a tortilla slice. They only do it twice a day, and when it's sold out or spoken for, that's it. Then you come in 15 minutes before opening and they basically seat you down or you grab a spot anywhere and they close the restaurant out. The doors closed, everybody who's going to be in here is in here and then they'll distribute the tortillas and then you can enjoy your tortilla. Here's our beautiful tortilla, it smells so good. It, it smells cheesy and there's no cheese in there. It's just strictly the tortilla with potatoes and onions. Look at that, how it glistens in the light. Oh my god. Those potatoes are perfectly slow fried. <laughs> and then you've got some peppers in there. Wow. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to enjoy this. And this is an edge piece too, which normally those will be a little bit more firm, but this is just, this is like if you got it from the center of the tortilla itself. Look at that. Oh. Oh, man, that is incredible. The potatoes have so much flavor, and the tortilla, the, the egg. Oh, my God, that is excellent. It's out of this world. This tortilla is the best tortilla I've ever had. Look how that shimmers in the light. It's like creamy mashed potatoes. Just absolutely beautifully blended and tempered so that the egg doesn't curdle. It's just warmed to doneness. It's perfection. Okay, now we're at La Sarte, and we couldn't leave without trying some mushrooms because that is a big, big staple of San Sebastian food. We have the hongos al sartén here, and it's a beautiful sauté of mushrooms and peppers with eggs on the bottom. Look at that. That is a perfect over easy egg. Oh yeah, nice big chunk of mushroom, 
So earthy. The umami flavor of the mushrooms is fantastic. And they're cooked to perfection, so they're very tender. Mm. And these are normally thicker mushrooms, not like your traditional button mushrooms. And they're like forced, forced mushrooms. And these are just so good. They're cooked to super, super tender. And the egg just like adds more texture to it. And, and it's just excellent. All right, it is about an hour and 15 minutes before our train leaves, but we could not leave San Sebastián without visiting La Viña. This place is famous for their cheesecake, and we had to come here and get some. And it is the Basque burnt cheesecake. Not just cheesecake, Basque burnt cheesecake. Let's go ahead and try this. This looks incredible. It looks like, like ice cream melting almost. So it's like they bake it on the outside, and they leave the center soft and, and, and gooey and it, it just looks so good. Pro tip is to get a glass of sherry nectar. This right here. This is nectar of the gods. And you pour some of this on your cheesecake and it adds a little like a syrupy sweetness to it. So I'm excited to try it. I've had the sherry before in the past, but I've never had it together with the cheesecake. All right, so I want to try the cheesecake without the sherry nectar first. I want to just get the pure flavor of the cheesecake. Wow. Oh, look at that. That looks just gorgeous. It's so creamy. It's like melting. Oh, wow. All of the cheesecake in the world has some explaining to do. My God. That is incredible. The creaminess, it's like you're having like a, a slightly sweetened heavy cream. It is so milky and creamy. That is just so good. I don't know how the nectar sherry is going to make it taste better, but let's go ahead and try that. That's really good, but to be honest, I'm a bit of a purist. The cheesecake is great on its own. I think I'll have the nectar on the side. I love the cheesecake just by itself. It's good, but the cheesecake alone is, is the star. We are back in our Airbnb in Madrid. We actually didn't get a chance to do a closeout in San Sebastián because it was raining, it was very dark outside and we didn't want to risk missing our train. So we booked it after La Viña straight to the train station so that we can get there without any hiccups. And we're back in Madrid, safe, everything went great. But I just want to say San Sebastián was such an incredible experience. That is a truly gorgeous, beautiful city. You have to visit if you have a couple days that you're in Spain or make the trip to San Sebastián just for San Sebastián. It is worth it. And now with the weather getting warmer, make sure you bring a bathing suit. Don't just go to eat because you are gonna wanna go in that water. I was pretty honestly jealous of everyone jumping in the water because I really wanted to go in myself. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe to our channel to continue supporting us. And in two days, we're gonna be in Barcelona and we cannot wait, I've always wanted to go here and this is just a bucket list city that I cannot believe I am fortunate enough to be able to cross off the list. So we'll see you in Barcelona.